HelloGeospace.com. Um, good to meet you. My name is Stefan Maurer. I'm Portfolio Manager for Broadcast and Live for Neumann Berlin as a part of the Sennheiser Group. And I'm here today at the IBC 2022 in Amsterdam. And I have the pleasure to talk to you about the, one of the new products that we are showing uh, specifically on this show, which is the KH150. The KH150 is an active studio monitor loudspeaker with a six and a half inch woofer and a one inch tweeter driver in a base reflex cabinet. This size and form factor is a new size for the portfolio of uh, K&H Neumann monitors which has its smallest model with a two-way speaker 4-inch and the largest one with a KH420, which you probably know in a three-way format, much larger. This is kind of the middle ground and it's closing a gap between the pretty acclaimed KH120, two-way with a five and a quarter inch woofer and the three-way KH310. This new speaker is an upgrade, not only in size when you come from a 120, but also in technology. It's a new generation of digital electronics inside with our own design of a Class D amplifier, which performs better than the traditional AB amplifiers that we had in the past, but it's also allowing us to put more precision into the product in the shape of a DSP, which is super, um, low tolerance for heat, so it stays the same crossover all the time when you're using it, whether you leave it on or whether it's cool or hot, it's always the same. It also allows us to achieve a superior low tolerance of plus minus 0.8 dB deviation between individual speakers. So that means each speaker is basically a matched pair with any other speaker. That's all coming from a DSP, but we don't stop there. We also now natively support the MA1 automatic alignment system that we offer for two channels. Right now we're working on a multi-channel version of that alignment tool so that you can use the speaker not only in a two-channel or two-channel plus bass management configuration, but also in an immersive rig with a up to 7.1.4, .1 wherever you want to go. What's also interesting for higher channel count systems, as you see in immersive, is our optional AE67 fully redundant interface. So you can buy the speaker not only in a white version and the classic gray version, but also in both colors as an AE67 networked audio of IP version, which then allows us to put systems in place without any analog gear if we want that as we do here in our showcase. So I hope this gives you a brief overview of what this product is to be. It's basically as loud and as extending as low as a KH310 in a smaller package at a more affordable price with a richer feature set. So I guess it's worth looking into that and I'm looking forward to the, reading the debates on, on your gearspace.com forum. Thank you.